YouTube, what's up? It's your boy Koozie. Welcome back to Phasmophobia, and I have got a guide for you today, baby. This is going to be a how to level up as fast as possible 2.0, but I've heard what you guys have been saying. I've seen the comments from this video of custom settings are locked at level 50. I don't have the smudge. I don't have any equipment, etc. Well, today we are covering all of the bases so that none of you guys, nobody will say a mean comment on the internet. Right? What I'm gonna do is I am playing on amateur difficulty. I have the starting equipment only, and I'm gonna show you how to uh, level up as much as you can, not necessarily as fast as you can as a low level player, so that you can start leveling up faster down the road. So what we're doing, amateur difficulty, starting items only, and because the maps are level locked, I'm only going to Tanglewood. So in a pitter patter chitter chatter, let's get into it. All right, so before I even get out the truck, dude, the best way, to get the most XP is to try and go for a perfect game. Now, if you are a low level and you don't have the photo cam unlocked, the only way you can get a, a perfect game is to have a photo album full of three star ghost photos um, and completing all of the objectives. Now, again, we're low level, so we don't have the photo cam. So what we are gonna do is we're going to try to do all of the optional objectives, but because I am a higher level, your optional objectives will scale based on your level. So if you don't have incense unlocked, you're more than likely not gonna have the incense objective, but because I am, we're not gonna be able to do it. So in our case, the only one of these that we can do is get an average sanity below 25%. So that's the only one we're gonna focus on. So we're gonna try to do a normal contract in an efficient manner and uh, try to get out of here as fast as possible. With what we have right now, we can only do the 25% sanity um, we'll get to that in a moment, but the number one thing that we got to do is find the ghost room, correctly identify the ghost, survive, and get out of there. Um, and the ghost is already being active, giving us stuff to, uh, to think about here. It moved that. So we're going to check our thermometer. This is the best way to find the ghost room. The temperature is dropping, so, uh, no, it's not. It's just fluctuating. So I'm going to say that this, uh, well... This could be the ghost room. So usually if you hear a sound and it moves something in a room, that usually tells you uh, that this is the ghost room and it's touching this door. Okay, so I'm gonna say that this is a ghost room. Now, uh, since we can't get photos, what we can do is we can uh, find the bone and then we can also find the cursed possession because the cursed possession is the fastest way to get the ghost to haunt you. Now we have the bone here. Now, if I had a photo cam, I'd take a photo of it before I pick it up. That way we get a three-star photo. But now we're looking for the cursed possession. No mirror. The terror cards spawn over here. No terror cards. Is it monkey paw? It is not monkey paw. It's not the voodoo doll. So that tells me it's either going to be summoning circle, in which case that would suck. And look at that it is. Okay, so when you find the cursed possession, take a photo of it before you use it. Uh, we can't use this, which kind of sucks, dude, because now it's going to be forever before we get down to 25% sanity. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn off all of the lights because that's the fastest way to drain your sanity. If you're not in the light, it, your sanity drops. So we're turning off all the lights here. And maybe I just... Maybe we leave these on because that's where I'm going to bring the ghost. And then we can turn off these lights. And now we're just forced to just do a normal speed run of... A contract but surviving identifying the ghost correctly and then completing your optional objectives are going to be the fastest way to, to level up as a low level player with no custom settings okay where are you are you here are you close are you friendly how old are you how did you die are you here are you here are you here where are you where are you okay i'm gonna say it's not spirit box so since we're on amateur we can rule that stuff out which is good we're gonna stay in the darkness here so we drop our sanity. Uh, not freezing quite yet. Haven't gotten EMF 5. Let's go grab our other evidence equipment. But the hard truth, dude, is if you're a low level player, you don't have custom settings unlocked. The only, the fastest way to level up is going to be to just do normal contracts on the highest difficulty as possible. TLDR, leveling up fast, equates to going for perfect games. If you don't have a way... Uh, to do like custom settings and stuff like that to get the reward multiplier. All right, so I'm not seeing any ghost orbs I'm gonna check on this side just in case there's some like behind the door Is that EMF 4? I'm also using tier 1 
which I haven't done in quite some time, and I forget how bad this is. Okay, it's dropping, I think. They also updated the equipment. Now, we are on amateur, so this is 100% the ghost room. So just because the temperature goes up doesn't mean that this isn't the ghost room anymore. Um, because on amateur, the ghost will not change ghost rooms. Okay, that's EMF 5. But because we're on amateur, the ghost will never change ghost rooms, all right? It will roam, and the ghost will always start the hunt from the ghost room most of the time. But if it's roaming, it can also start the hunt from wherever wherever it's at, if you are within that threshold, all right? Where are you? Are you here? Are you close? Are you friendly? All right, we need to check for fingerprints. It turned on the... Okay, so now the ghost is starting to get a little bit more active, which is cool. This tells me that this uh, this is going to be a pretty aggressive ghost. So out of these ghosts, we have a Raiju. Possibility. I'm not seeing ghost orbs. Touch the door. We have fingerprints. Now, if we had a photo cam, we could take a photo of the door after it touched it. We could take a photo of the uh, fingerprints, and then there's more uh, there's more stuff. Excuse me. Don't need to run the water up here, buddy. All right. So to get the Gorio dots, if this is a Gorio, you have to be outside the ghost room. And the reason why I check it like in person is because if you were the only one playing in the contract uh, and I set this up to see the dots and I go out to the truck, how am I going to know if it's Gorio dots or regular dots? You know what I mean? In this case, we could probably use process of elimination because Gorio is the only one that is going to give us dots out of these three. But it's still, it, it's a good rule of thumb just to check for yourself. And by and large, dude, it takes way less time to pick up the camera, check for ghost orbs with the camera in your hand, and then be done with it than it does to, uh, to set up a camera on a tripod, run out to the truck, and then wait for ghost orbs. The ghost, the, the ghost is not going to hide orbs. So this isn't necessarily how to level up as fast as you can, because as a low level player, realistically, there's no way to level up fast. Okay. You just kind of got to, okay, well, there we go. All right. So it's a gen. All right. So we have that. So now we just have to uh, get our sanity below 25%, which the gen can actually randomly zap your sanity if you are near it. So there's that. I haven't really been in the dark because I've been in the hallway, which has lights on. So my sanity sh should still be pretty high. So I'm not going to waste any more time. We're just going to, we're going to get out of here and hope to get more like better contract or uh, better optional objectives. Now, what we're going to do on this next contract is I'm going to add in the photo cam because we should get 325 XP, maybe 350. Welcome back. 225. Okay. Well, I'm a liar. And uh, it's because we didn't get a one of the optional objectives done but uh we're gonna add in a photo cam so let's just say that 225 got us enough to unlock the the photo cam here um so we're gonna add in one and then we're gonna go and maybe we won't be able to get all of the optional objectives done but we can at least get some more photos so then i will show you how how much of a difference that makes and then on the last contract i'll add in my stuff and be able to get a perfect game and then I'll show you how much of a difference going for that perfect game um, really does make. And maybe it'll give you some motivation to get the uh, get that perfect game uh, bonus. So we can capture a photo of the ghost, so that's huge. So same deal. We're going to go in, find the, uh, find the ghost room. Locate the bone as well. And before we pick it up, we're going to take a photo of it. I'm just looking. There's no music box, which is good. Uh, the hand, the the hand, the ghost gave us a hand here. Uh, uh, the bone is right there. Yeah. So now that we know where the bone is, just got to find the cursed possession. Is it? It's not the music box. No tarot cards. No mirror. Could be monkey paw. No monkey paw. Is it the voodoo doll? It is the voodoo doll. Okay, so before we grab this, we're going to go grab our photo cam, take a photo of the bone and the curse possession here. All right, so let's take a photo of the bone and then the voodoo doll, Mr. We'll call him Philip. 
And right off the bat, we got two three-star photos. That's the other thing. For the perfect game, those, the photos have to be three-star. Okay? You have to finish all of your objectives. You have to find the bone. And you have to have ten three-star ghost photos. Oh, nice. Okay, well, that's unfortunate. It's down in the basement. It's no, not a revenant, not a diogen, not a thay. Hello? I might die here. So we're gonna take him for a loop. I might die. I might die. I might die. He's right on my ass. Okay. The amateur hunt duration saved my butt. All right. Let me tell you something. Okay. So we should have gotten a ghost photo. That was a very bad ghost photo. It wasn't even a ghost photo. But uh, so homie's in the basement. That tells me that this is a ghost room. Very good. Okay. So, we're gonna go grab our photo cam because we can actually fill up our journal with interaction photos. Where the hell is my camera? That interaction's probably over, to be honest with you. So, we'll just wait for it next time. But we can use the voodoo doll to get uh, some interactions now that the heart pin has been pulled. He's not gonna hunt us anymore unless we get down to that uh, the sanity threshold required for whatever ghost this is. But we need to get evidence as well. I don't know what he touched. But, meanwhile, no more Roy, no Hantu, because it wasn't super fast coming out of the, the ghost room. I don't think it's a Raiju, but I'm not going to rule that out quite yet. All right, we're going to let that marinate for a bit. Let's keep pulling this. Now, this does cost sanity. I'm sorry, excuse me? What do you keep moving? I don't see anything that he's throwing. Brother, what? Okay, this isn't working out like I hoped, but it's okay. Let's go, oh, turn off the breaker. We can take a photo of that. That's an interaction photo, baby. And that also rules out Jen. We don't have any evidence yet because the Jen cannot turn off the breaker. But this is where knowledge of the ghosts and their abilities during the hunt and outside of hunts... Like, this is where knowledge of ghosts, more than just the type of evidence that they do or do not provide, is super beneficial. So, like, we've already ruled out all of these ghosts based on their hunting behavior. It's also not a phantom because I, I think the blinking was pretty normal. We're gonna check for spirit box. Where are you? Are you here? Are you friendly? Are you close? How old are you? How did you die? Okay, we got spirit box. Very cool. Did it turn off the breaker again? No, it didn't. Ah, oh, we can take a photo of that. Aha! Very cool. I don't know what this thumping I'm hearing. Alright, do we have freezing? No freezing yet. And that's EMF 3. We're gonna turn this back. Actually, let's go grab dots and video cam. Now, I'm getting pretty low on sanity here. I'm not seeing any orbs. So we can roll that out since we are on amateur mode. All right. The next thing is going to be getting the ghost journal or the ghost writing book and the dots, which the dots really kind of suck on this. Uh, all righty. We still have a couple pins left. So I'm going to set you up. This photo? Okay. Random EMF. Aha! Oh, that's EMF 5. Throw it again. We're going to take another photo. This is similar to salt. <laughs> it's, it's the same paintbrush. All the time. What did that just throw? That? Yes. Okay. It's not freezing. 
I don't know how we're gonna get EMF or uh, UV like this. Hello? Where's my photo cam? Photo cam! Blue can! Alright, we're getting there. We just need two more. Was that a three star? Yes, it was. Yeah, random EMF. Uh, I'm leaning more towards the damn the wraith, dude. Oh, it's two star. No. Can you give me a sign? Okay. So we have all of that. So we have EMF five. We don't have freezing. Yeah, it's not freezing, dude. We're going to rule that out. So that tells me it's either Spirit or Wraith. Wraith is going to have dots. Can you give me a sign that doesn't involve killing me? Show yourself in the dots, dude. Oh, that kind of sucks. So if we had salt, this would be super easy because the Wraith cannot step in salt. Right now, we're just kind of hanging out, getting the fuck out of here. Ladies and gentlemen, we lost him. I'm getting in a closet and I'm hiding. Okay, hunt's over. Um, maybe we'll get dots. Is this either? Did it turn? Oh, it broke the lights. That's right. I'm leaning more towards. A wraith simply because we were getting EMF readings without it doing anything. And a wraith will like teleport to you and give you like a random EMF too. Okay. So we're gonna go with the wraith here. I feel like if it was ghost writing, it would have done that by now. So we uh we could have got a photo of the ghost, but we didn't. But by regardless, we're gonna have some uh, some extra money here. So we got what 225 last time? It was a Wraith. We got 280. So it ain't much, but it's something. Now, though, what I'm going to do is I'm going to enable my loadout, which is all tier 3 stuff, but regardless of the tier, it's going to be uh, it's gonna be much better because we'll have everything, and we'll be able to actually get a perfect game this time. So let's go ahead and do that. Uh, you don't need a tripod, so let's go back. We're on Amateur. We're going to Tanglewood, but I'm going to show you how to speedrun a... Um, a perfect game. All right. So we have photo of the ghost area or uh, incense and witness the ghost event. So that's going to be mad easy. So for me, what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this uh, and I'm going to grab a smudge and a photo cam. All right. Now, you don't have to do this, but what we are going to do is we're going to go in and try to get all of this done in one fell swoop. All right. So let's look for the curse possession. This is what I would normally do. No mirror. It is tarot cards. Check for the bone real quick. And check pretty much everywhere. Because especially if you get one of those small bones, like a hip bone or some shit, it's pretty, uh, pretty tough. Alright. So now that we got the bone... Actually, we drop the smudge, we keep the camera handy. The sun, okay, we have 100% sanity, it's the opposite of the moon. Aw, oh, dude. That would have been our ticket. Okay, that would have not have been good. Tower. Not hearing anything. Wheel of Fortune, it flash green. That means we got more sanity. 25% more. Sun. Okay, this is really not helping the video. And it's an air ball. I need the ghost to... Okay, well, that rules out Oni. Knowledge of the ghost is power. Oh, well, that makes it interesting. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. Now we have to either wait for the ghost to hunt us. Oh, you're in here. Hello? 
I didn't get that photo. I got that one. I feel threatened. Alright, the smudge worked. Now it's it's a little bit faster because it saw me. So it started the hunt from in here, so that tells me this is a ghost room. That is beneficial. Now that wasn't a curse taunt, so we're good. Alrighty. Did we get a ghost photo? Okay, we did get a ghost photo. We can delete that. That fuck up. Alright. Just touched something. So, because I wasn't able to easily tell what type of ghost it is based on the hunt behavior, uh, I'm going to try to get some evidence here. We are an amateur, so we're still going to get all three evidences. But maybe we'll get some, uh, some stuff here. Uh, I'm also going to take some sanity pills to get me back up to, to zero, or to a hundred, or close to it. Because I don't really want the ghost to hunt me right now. We did just smudge it, so it's not going to hunt us for at least a minute and a half if it's a normal ghost, not a spirit or a demon. Alrighty, so uh, Mr. Ghosty here wanted to, uh, which we can actually take a photo of this. But if the ghost ever touches the car, make sure you pick up the key at the front door. That's an interaction. Alrighty. Hey, buddy. How you doing? It's EMF four. Where are you? Are you here? Okay, we have spirit box. Very good. We got freezing breath. The fuck did it throw? This? I heard a step in salt. We have two piles of salt there. It just touched this. Oh, that was a one star interaction. Pain and suffering. Aha! Okay, so now we're two photos away from getting this done. Check the temperature here. 3.3. So not quite freezing. I don't want to rule it out quite yet, though, because it may take a minute. But we can check for the other evidence. And it stepped in salt, so it's not a wraith. We can rule that out. Also, we can rule out phantom, because we have the ghost here. So... A phantom will not show up in the actual ghost photo. It'll say it'll say ghost, but there won't be anything there. Wait, did I get that disturb salt? Okay, we have one, two. Ah, there's another one we can take. A photo of that. Feels good. And we have UV. Now, we can take a photo of the handprint. There we go. So it's either going to be Mimic, Poltergeist. So if we go get... If we go grab a photo or a video cam, if we have Ghost Orbs, it is 100% a Mimic. Now, the reason why I say that is because even though you select Ghost Orbs and uh, Mimic is grayed out, you can still select it. But the Mimic will always have Ghost Orbs, whether you're playing on Amateur or No Evidence, uh, Absolute High Multiplier, okay? Cross the board. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Meanwhile, let me just double check our stuff here. Okay, we've got everything. So all we need to do is just figure out the type of ghost we're dealing with and also survive and hopefully it won't kill us. I didn't check my sanity, but I took three pills. So we should be around 60. Homie's mad. Bro's mad. Uh, okay, well, there you go. It's the mimic. We're going to skedaddle. And when we come out of here, we'll see how quick the uh, the contract took us. I, I feel like I was busting my ass trying to get it done as fast as possible. But even so, it was a full contract where we did everything. It wasn't like we just did the Camp Woodwind strategy where you go in, get the ghost to hunt you with zero sanity, and get out of there. This would probably be the, the fastest way to do it. And it took us... Okay, so we got the perfect game on Amateur. Okay? On Amateur. And we got 605 XP and 605 bucks. So that took eight minutes, okay? So if you have eight minutes to spare and you are in this situation where maybe you have some equipment unlocked and you can at the very least get as many photos as possible, this is gonna be the secret, okay? And then as you scale up and you get uh, maybe intermediate unlocked, you already get a two times multiplier, okay? 
So that's going to double your money already. So if we would have done this on intermediate, we would have got 1200 bucks. So with that said, TLDR, bro, there's no fast way to level up as a prestige one or like no prestige level one player never touch the game it's going to take knowledge it's going to take time but if you can just try to get as much out of every single contract as you can and efficiently do it it's not going to take forever okay so simplest term just play bro just play and while you're at it check out this video to learn how to quickly identify or rule out every single ghost and uh thank you so much for watching i'll see you over there okay